Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the wonderful package that is Testify and how you can use it to gain fame and fortune writing amazing tests for your production applications. Now this video is part of a course that I have currently in development called the Go Testing Bible which you can gain access to through the link in the description down below and for the price of just a cup of coffee every month you'll be able to support the site and the channel and gain access to all of the premium content as and when it is made available. Cool, so with that out of the way, let's dive into what Testify is. Now, Testify is an awesome Go package that allows us to write easy assertions within our unit tests, and it gives us things like mocking and test suites as well. Now, it's been widely adopted by the Go community as one of the best testing packages available, and it has a fairly large community around it. Now, why should we use it? Well, ultimately, it makes our lives a lot easier. It gives us a well-defined API to work against, and that ultimately helps to reduce the number of bugs within our own code and ensures that we can succinctly and easily test our own applications. Cool, so with that out of the way, let's dive into Visual Studio Code and let's see how we can use Testify in our own test functions. Now, as you can see here, I have two files open. So I have the main.go file, which contains a function or an exported function called filter unique. And this basically takes in a list of developers and then returns a list of the unique names within that list. Now on the right hand side of my screen I have the main underscore test.go file open and that just has a simple test function in it that uses the reflect package to do a deep equal comparison between the result and the expected list. So let's see how we can use testify to improve this. Well the first thing we're going to want to do is within the list of imports at the top we're going to want to add the testify package. So github.com slash stretcher slash testify slash and we're going to use the assert package underneath that. And once we've got this, we can then come down to here. So just to cover this in a wee bit more detail, I've got the input, which is a list or an array of developer with a couple of duplicates thrown in there. And then we have the expected results, which just have the unique names within this list. Cool, so let's use the assert package. So let's do assert dot equal. We then want to pass in the pointer to testing dot t, and then we want to pass in the expected, so expected, and then we'll say filter unique and input. Now we can get away with this as it only returns one value, which is the list of strings. But you may, if you have multiple values, have to put this above and then just pass in what you need into the assert.equal call. Cool. Let's remove this. Let's remove the existing deep equal. Save that. And then let's try test it. So go test dot slash dot dot dot. And we'll do it in verbose mode. And as you can see, test filter unique has passed as the list has successfully returned the expected results here. So right away, we've been able to see how the testify package can help to simplify our test results. Now we've only covered the dot equal function so far, or dot equal method, I should say. Let's now try and cover a couple of the other examples. So the first one we're gonna do is test not or negative filter unique. It's going to take a pointer to testing.t and I'm going to copy and paste the input and the expected from here. And I'm going to change it up. So I'm just going to delete a couple of values from the expected. And then I'm going to say uh, assert dot not equal passing in the t, testing.t pointer. We're going to pass in the expected and the output from filter unique with input once again. And this should check for the negative or the flip case to our dot equal method above here. So we can try run this now. And as you can see, test negative filter unique has also passed as the return results from filter unique with the input does not match this array of strings. 
Now in this quick tutorial we've seen how we can use just two of the functions that we have available to us within the assert package but you should know that there are a whole host of different functions within this package and in order to see the complete list you should definitely check out the go doc for this package and as you can see it contains hundreds of different cases that you can use in order to simplify your tests um, things like does the directory exist or does it not exist um, does it not contain you know that more often than not i found when i'm crafting my test that if i need a specific bit of logic it will be encapsulated within one of the functions here. So it's definitely worth checking this out as and when you're crafting your tests. Now, that's all we're gonna cover within this tutorial. It's been a whirlwind stop as to how you can use the Testify package and why you should use the Testify package within your Go application testing. Now, in future videos in this course, we're gonna look at some of the other functions that we have available to us in a little bit more depth. And we're also gonna look at things like the mocking within the Testify package itself which will be incredibly useful when it comes to testing services that call out to other services. So that's all we're gonna cover in this quick tutorial. I hope this has shown you why you should use Testify within your own testing packages and how it can help you simplify the logic behind your unit tests and give you incredibly succinct and readable tests. Now, if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing to my site as you'll be able to see more videos just like this about testing and diving down deeper into some of the more advanced concepts about testing. And as always, if you like the video, give it a like. If you've got anything you'd like to say, let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel for more programming content. Cheers.